What's up, man? How you doing? How are you? How you doing? What's up? Very right. good. I just got to shoot the mail. Nice. I thought about wearing them today, but I was hey. like, I'm gonna look at my lap at him. <laughs> wearing his shoes. No, you're making him money, right? <laughs> All right, so this is what? Media day number, I guess, four. Four, four. four for you. Three? Four, four. Three? So four? Did you do media days at Real Madrid? Yeah. Not like this? Not like this. <laughs> Not like this. Better or worse? Oh, this is worse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so year one of Jason Kidd. Rick Carlisle has been your coach the past three seasons, first three seasons of your career. What are you the most excited about with Jason Kidd as head coach? I mean, I think, like, you know, he won a championship, obviously, but he played the same position as me. You know, he was a champion here as a player. So I think that will help me a lot. You know, he's the guy that, if not the best, one of the best passers that everybody saw. So I think he's going to help me a lot. Mm. After playing with Slovenia this summer, it was awesome to watch you play and all the camaraderie and seeing you celebrate with everybody. It seemed like that team was really tight. And then afterwards, you talked about the chemistry of that team and how you want that chemistry and that same kind of trust on this team, the Mavericks team. How do you think you, you go about that as a leader and as the you know, best player on the team? Yeah, I think you can build that. Uh, obviously, you know, you got to hang out with each other. Uh, you got to go maybe to dinners, you know. I think uh, we build that chemistry with the Slovenian national team because we're always together, you know, and no matter what, you know, we were just hanging out, you know, do whatever. What's, what's something about Slovenia that the average American doesn't know? Maybe everything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There's, I think there's a lot of things. <laughs> what's maybe. something you want people to know about? Slovenia. It's a beautiful country. Uh, everybody, you know, uh, Mark and company, Jason was there. Uh, everybody loved it, you know, uh, how beautiful it is. Uh, it's not very big, uh, but it has everything. You have sea, you know, there's a lot of green, so it's a very beautiful country. What did it mean to you to, to take Slovenia, a country of, you know, you, I think you even mentioned it, two million people, to get that far in the Olympics in basketball? Like, what did that mean to you personally and to your family even? I mean, it was it was amazing, you know. We had the whole country behind us. Uh, obviously, we end up fourth, which is not it not the bad. I think it's the worst place you could ever be. <laughs> so, but you know, this was our first Olympics, and you know, we hope to go to more. So, so going to people defending you in the league, who defend? Who would you say defends you best in the NBA, and why is it not Patrick Beverly? No, I don't. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't go in these conversations. So I, I don't I don't really said he's got something for you this year. What could he possibly? Nothing. Bring this year? No, no, nothing. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> what would you consider a success this season for, for you and for the Mavericks? Uh, winning a championship. Mm. Point blank. That's it. Yeah, that's yeah. our goal. Okay. When you look at Mavs history and even up till this point, if you had Luka Doncic, you had to form an all-time Mavs starting five. Who would it be? <laughs> Uh, with me or without me? With you. With me. Uh, There's an know. easy one. You played with him. <laughs> yeah, but he's at the four, so I don't know. So Dirk at four. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll put Finley. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Tyson Chandler. Mm. Okay. And let's see. I don't know. There's one more. I put Jason Kidd or Jason Terry. Okay. I'm between them. Yeah, so. yeah that, that's good. So I don't know. Let's say one of those two. <laughs> uh, okay, you seem like you're really good at everything as far as trick shots, pickleball in the bubble. What's something you're bad at that you wish you were good at? Huh. Uh, maybe singing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, we'll so do karaoke. we're going to do some rapid fire questions real quick. All right, you have to fight. You're in a hand to hand combat fist fighting. Would you rather fight one Bobon sized squirrel, so a giant squirrel, or a hundred squirrel sized Bobons? Little tiny Bobons or one giant squirrel? One giant you take Bobon a, squirrel. Instead of uh, yeah, yeah. a bunch of little tiny Bobons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know his weakness. <laughs> What's Bobon's weakness? I can't tell you. <laughs> Okay, what is if someone is going on a date in high school or college and they say, Luca, what's the ideal first date? What would it, what would you say? Uh, these are tough questions. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to describe the whole thing? 
No, no, just like a, just like a, a, a general a general idea. Like, hey, Where's Luca, <laughs> uh, do you want to go out with me? <laughs> where it starts. That's good. Yeah, that yeah. Where that, that's where it starts, and then you just see where it goes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. You've been on a first date in like forever. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. That's really cool. <laughs> All right. I think Alan's hollering for you. You got to go to the next station. Right. The Thank you, guys. Station. See you. Good luck this Thank season. You. Thanks, guys. No, thank you, Alan.